right there. You don't feel like you can ever get a good hook set, hook set with it. Oh man, that's running. That is, dude, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. It took off. We're on though. Dude, that is a good fish. Dude, that's a, oh, it's hook strange. That's why I was fighting so weird. Oh my gosh. Decent fish, it's hooked in the belly. It's got one in the mouth and it's got one in its stomach, I think. That's, that's still a pretty good fish. get one out of his stomach first, maybe his mouth, okay. Let's see if I can get this guy out. And that thing took off, that was a cool, uh, that was a cool bite. Not a bad little little two and some change there. It's a good fish. Good way to start the day. Okay. I well, I guess yeah. How you can just physically explain to me how you can get that. Um, well, you try first to get that one to the handle, uh -huh. and then. Oh. Well, uh, that's a pretty quick start to the day. This Alabama rig is what we ended up landing that fish on. It felt a lot bigger than it was, uh, just because it got. Uh, you know, caught one of these in the mouth and then the other one caught it in the stomach, you know, because there's there's five hooks on this Alabama rig. Now, that's going to vary by state, too. Uh, Georgia, you can have up to five. Uh, you might be able to have more. I'm not sure. I don't know why you'd want more than five. It starts to get a little crazy after that. There are some states that limit it to two. There are some states where you, you just can't run multiple hooks in general. Um, but uh, I've never, never tried an Alabama rig before. I uh, always wanted to. And I'm glad that I did because it's a little solid two and some change pound bass. It checks Fort Yargo State Park off of our list. And uh, we've only been out here for a little while, so we're going to see if we can't catch a couple more. The, uh, the fight and the way that thing hit was pretty cool, though. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more on this guy. Let's see what we can do. Get over to this point here in just a second. I can't really... I mean, I can cast... A little bit, kind of the way that I'm gripping it, but not the way I want to. I can't just really sling it. That's a good one. It's not pulling drag, it must not be that big. What in the world? All right, well, this is a first. <laughs> I just caught a teddy bear. What in the world? That's definitely a different species catch right there. That thing is so waterlogged. I don't want to break it. I need to actually grab the... I thought I'm like, that thing's heavy, but it's not pulling no drag. My goodness. What in the world? Ugh. I probably need to put him on the back of the kayak or something so I can uh, get rid of him. He doesn't have any business being in the, in the lake. It's <laughs> crazy.
Got one. Yep, there we go. They are indeed starting to bite. No, 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 no. This is a good one. They don't want you up top. Oh, man. Can't keep them on. Can't keep them on. Nut rig. I mean, you're either going to get that good hook set or it's easy to lose it. I think my drag was maybe a hair too tight for that guy. Got one. Little one. Little one. Little spot. Okay. That's kind of how you want the hooks up there. Well, they are indeed on the uh, on the docks. Let's uh, see if I can't get a little B-roll release of him just because we managed to snag another fish. He's ready to go. Ready to go. But on, on the Ned rig. Beautiful. That fish came courtesy of a Ned Rig, a Z-Man mushroom jig head with a Guggen Squad rattling Ned in Mud Bug, I think is the color of it, or, or something something like that. It's a green pumpkin, uh, kind of like a shad laminate. But um, Ned Rig's a great one when you're not catching fish, it'll it'll usually, usually clean one up. Not always the biggest one as you can see, but uh, a fish nonetheless. Uh, if, paying attention I'm wearing something different than what I was wearing when I caught the last fish in this video I had to come back out and shoot some b-roll I didn't really shoot b-roll that day um, and uh, eh, didn't want to leave it at one fish anyways so that was good to check off another one but uh, thanks for joining me here at Fort Yargo State Park uh, it's a great park I, I came here a lot as a kid it's changed a lot over the years and it's it's super popular there's always a lot of people here because there's a lot of stuff to do uh, there's mountain biking trails there's a lake of course canoe and kayak rentals uh, there's a camp here uh, like a summer camp um, miniature golf disc golf uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff but uh, but yeah so anyways appreciate you hanging out um, it's good to check off another state park uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like what you're seeing feel free to subscribe uh, but this has been Caleb with certified thanks we'll catch you on the next one Thank you.